Okay, so since you guys all did an interview, I'm going to do an interview. This is actually my third take because I've talked way too much the last two takes, and it cut me off. So anyway, um, all right, so we're going to start out. First question, um, my name is Ash Stone. Um, my second question, I am 20 years old as of December 3rd. I just turned. Um, I don't feel like I'm 20. I feel like I'm a 15-year-old trapped inside of a 20-year-old's body with the mind of like a million-year-old. Um, I'm, I think I'm pretty mature for my age, but still really silly and fun. Um, favorite color is definitely orange. I liked blue, but the fact that like everyone loves blue is kind of wearing on me. Um, am I a cat person or a dog person? I don't own a cat. I would love to. I would love to try having my own cat, but never really been allowed to. Um, so I have my dog, so I'm going to say I'm a dog person by default, um, but I love all animals. Um, moving on to my next question. It's a good segue there. Um, my favorite animal is definitely a duck. I also like, love turtles. Uh, when I was little I loved Dalmatians. <laughs> um, I love elephants too. My bathroom's actually duck and elephant themed. Um, I'm currently in a penguin phase. I kind of really like penguins. I'm starting to like owls. <laughs> I'll have to talk to Lauren about that. But, um, but anyway, so. Um, my next question is what gets me every time. <laughs> my Twilight or Harry Potter? Um, Book-wise, I'm Twilight. Movie-wise, I'm Harry Potter. Because I don't like not a fan of who they cast in Twilight for the movies and I'm not a fan of the write, the writing style in, in Harry Potter. I guess that's probably the simplest way I can put that before I went in this long explanation. Um, with Twilight I'm definitely team Jacob although I don't think Bella deserves him. I do. <laughs> um, and with Harry Potter I, I know there's no teams for Harry Potter, but I'm definitely Team Ron. Um, Ron's pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> Not gonna lie, everybody's like, oh, Harry Potter, <gasps> ooh, and I'm like, Ron. <sighs> okay, so if I had to pick, I'd say Twilight. Or, er, I'd say Twilight just so Justin wouldn't beat me up. But um, if I had to pick, I'd say Harry Potter. Alright, so what's next? Um, how did I get started in NTMs? Um, I had my contest site, and I saw Jane, Jane Doe's profile, you might know her, she owned a site called Perfectly Chaotic, um, and I was like in love with them, and I just had to get in. She explained everything to me, and so I opened my own NTM, and I applied for every other NTM I could find under the sun to apply for, and no one would accept me. So it took me like three months before anyone would accept me, and it took me like another three, four months before I could, um, before I've actually won one, so, and I've only actually ever had three assignments that got straight tens, so I ever got a perfect ten. Hmm. Just thought I'd let you know. Um, anyway, so, what's my favorite NTM assignment? My zombie assignment, um, everyone in my family, everyone that was at my house that night got involved, it was probably the most elaborate setup for an NTM assignment I've ever done. Um, it's also the only time that I've ever been at my mom's house and been capable of making fake blood. And it's also one of the only assignments I've ever got perfect tens on. Alright, so what's my dream job? My dream job would be to be Oprah. Be the white Oprah. <laughs> um, I feel like I have so many ideas, so many stories, and so many things that people could benefit from. And I would love to be in a position where I could reach hundreds of people and be able to help them. Um, I love helping people. I love getting to know people and being able to bring a voice to them and, you know, tell them things and, and be there for them. You know, so that's like my dream job. But what I'm actually going to be when I grow up, uh, which of course I'm 20 years old and I still feel like I haven't grown up. Um, I'm currently in school and will graduate at the end of June for networking and database professional, which means I'll be basically a professional nerd. Um, so, 
uh, I want what I want to do with that degree. I want to be um, a networking and something with networking, or I eventually want to be a legal computer hacker for the FBI. I said legal with an L, not illegal. Um, <laughs> my favorite movies are Mean Girls, What a Girl Wants, and The Prince and Me. I also really love any movie with Marilyn Monroe. Any movie. Um, I especially love Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and The Seven Year Itch. I also like Some Like It Hot. I think is what it's called. Why can't I think of what it's called? I think it's Some Like It Hot. Anyway, I love that movie. Um, Alright, so next question. Sports I've done in high school, um, or in general, I used to figure skate. I was actually really good, and then it got so expensive. Like, you don't understand. I mean, my feet were growing every year, so every year I had to get a new pair of skates. And then every year, whenever I would want to compete or do a show, I had to get a new outfit. Because they would, like, deduct you if they saw you wear the same outfit twice. So that got really expensive, and then you had to pay for the ice time, and you had to pay for this, and you had to pay for that. So it was, um, it was really hard. Um, but I actually I did cheerleading my freshman year of high school, and then in tenth grade when I went to to retry out, I actually injured myself pretty badly. So, actually I injured myself in my ninth grade year, which is why um, I was out pretty much the whole season, and um, I was a base, by the way, I'm obviously too big to be a flyer, um, and then the girls were just so catty, I just, I couldn't do it, um, and then, what else, I used to play basketball in elementary school, I'm actually pretty good at basketball, and I tried out for volleyball, but I never actually made it. I never actually made it in high school on the basketball team either. Um, all right, doing good, seven minutes. All right, so what's the next question? Um, it's actually the first time I've gotten to this question. Um, I think this is if I'm related to anyone famous. Um, I'm related to Evil Knievel. Um, well, I'm friends with him, I guess. He's a friend of a friend of my grandfather. Um, I, I'm actually really distant cousins with Marilyn Monroe. I'm actually really distant relatives with the original guy who played Superman. Um, oh, why can't I think of his name? Oh, I've been sitting here trying to think of it before I started the video. Um, and also I'm not related to, but Sharon Stone, which is actually where I got the last name Stone, part of it from anyway, um, went, to, went to prom with my mom's neighbor so my neighbor's nephew, um, John Evans, I don't know if you know him, I think that's his name, he's a congressman, a senator, a governor, or something like that, in, in, uh, in Pennsylvania now, anyway, they went to prom together, so she was actually in the house next door, which is pretty cool, um, and she graduated from a place called Linesville, which is not too horribly far from where I graduated from. <laughs> so I always thought that was cool. Um, and also, uh, Taylor Swift lived in Pennsylvania and so did Pink. So Pennsylvania is a pretty cool place to come from. All right. Um, so I'm going to them. I don't know if that actually means anything. Oh, and there's actually, there's a wrestler. Um, her name, crap, why can't I think of her name? Her last name is McCool. I can't think of her first name now. Oh man, that's gonna bug Michelle McCool. She's apparently a WWE diva, and she is one of my really good friends. She's her cousin, so I've actually met her before, um, and I actually talked to her on Facebook a few times. She's a really sweet girl. Um, she just pretends to be a diva. I don't know if I should actually tell anybody that, but whatever. Okay, um, my favorite holiday. If you don't know what my favorite holiday is, you are tripping. Um. <laughs> Halloween is my favorite holiday above all others. I'm actually not a huge fan of Christmas, but I love Halloween. Like, no joke. Um, I love orange, as stated before, and I like black. I love them together. I love everything about Halloween. 
Um, last year I got to work in a haunted haunted basement. And that was pretty freaking amazing, and I hope to get a chance to do that again next year. I love Halloween because on Halloween you can be anyone you want to be. You can be anything you want to be. You can dress however the heck you want to dress, and no one's going to say a dang thing. I love Halloween. <laughs> and my dog's slipping out. Paulo! You okay, babe? Okay. I'm sorry about him. Okay, um, what, I think this is, what is my favorite feature? My favorite feature about myself, oh my gosh, I love everything about myself, um, my butt. I know you guys have probably never seen my butt, but I love my butt. I have a JLo booty, and I'm proud of it. Um, I love my butt. <laughs> um, my eyes are okay, but everybody says eyes. Um, I love my butt. No joke. Love my butt. Um, I don't know if this was if I could change one thing about myself, I would, but, so I'm not even going to answer that. Um, what makes me unique, I think, amongst all of the other NTMers, is the fact that my dog is hysterical. Um, <laughs> no, um is that is that I take everyone's influence I take every photo I've ever seen and I use that as a reference you know I take people that I look up to in the NTM world and people that you know I don't look up to and I take you know what I like about this and what I like about that and it inspires different things um I also think I have a weird sense of style, and I a lot of my photos you can look at and you'll think, oh, that's a dress. No, it was a tank top. Or you look at it and you'll be like, oh, that's such a cute skirt. No, that was a t-shirt I wrapped around my waist. So I think I'm really inventive in that way, and I don't I don't think there's a lot of that left. Um, what do I think is my biggest weakness? Lighting currently, and locations to take photos, because when I'm at my apartment, which I'm at 99% of the time, um, I live in kind of the ghetto, for lack of a better word, and so I don't, you know, and the way my schedule is, when I go to class, which I have class every day, Monday through Friday, um, same time, 1 o'clock to 6 p.m., and, you know, I don't really have time to go outside when there's actual sunlight <laughs> and take a photo, so I kind of have to take it in a certain part of my house. Um, I only have two minutes left, so I'm just going to, who's my, I'm, I'm not going to tell you who my biggest competition is, because, psh, <laughs> which is definitely Lore. Um, who do I look up to in the NTM world? Jane, Lore, Katie, Jesse, Amanda, Tori, Heather, um, oh my gosh, everyone in my cycle, this cycle, everyone in last cycle, um, Gabe, Emily, Caitlin, Kayla, Serena, um, everyone. Um, I look up to anyone who does NTMs. I look at you all for inspiration. I look at you all to, to better myself. And, you know, so, so everyone. Um, <laughs> also, uh, okay, so if I had to tell you why I think I should be Candy Apple's next top model. I think I should be Candy Apple's next top model because I am unlike anyone else you will ever meet. I'm a nerdy tomboy who likes to, loves fashion, likes to dress like a rock star. Um, I, I like being me and I'm happy with being me and I take photos to express the way I feel and I think that that's what Candy Apple's next top model should be. It should be someone who not only loves themselves, but loves everyone and wants to change the world. All right, guys, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to go. Um, if you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask, but I'm going to send this to all of you. Toodles! <laughs> Hope the episode's up soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>